What's that? What? What is that? <laughs> How much did you pay for that? What? How much did you pay for that? For that? Yes. 19 pence. You're kidding me. There's a struggling for space. What, where did that come? Was it in that flipping black bag? Huh? No, seriously, was it in that bag that we got in trouble with at the airport? No. Where was it then? My black bag. The one, in, it was in that one, wasn't it? Yeah. What's that thing there in the middle? Hey? Yes. Cup holder. <laughs> it's absolutely spectacular. I told you. What should we call it? I think we need to let the girls decide. I've got an idea. What? We should call it Brexit. No. Well, it's an abhorrent waste of money. If it sticks around, it's going to have a massive impact on our children's lives. Stop it. Alright, do you want to sit at the table in here? Yeah. Hello and welcome to the first day out in our 2019 Crete adventure. We have come all the way to a historical site called Gornia, uh, which is pretty much as far east as you can go or heading towards the east part of Crete. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around this area here, have a look at the archaeological sites and then head back up that direction to Agios Nikolaos, which is like a famous port area. All right, off we go. So my book says that Gornia is the best preserved Minoan town in Crete. It is one of the oldest sites inhabited from around 3,000 years BC and it was destroyed by an earthquake and a fire around 1,450 years BC. Oh, very good. Can you hold that pose? Just hold your hat like that again. I had it like this, didn't I? Don't like a pirate? No, you look like Napoleon. Arr. <laughs> if that, that distracted me from all that information, that quite possibly distracted you. So um, just rewind and, and watch that bit back again, get the history. Come on, pay attention. <laughs> we come to? We are in Agios Nikolaos, a fishing town. And we've just spotted this thing over here. Not sure if you can read that, but it says it's a Cretan submarine. That is not a submarine. <laughs> anyway, so this is like the main harbour area and then there's also a bit that goes under the bridge over there into like a little harbour area. And we're gonna go there and have some fish and chips. Some produce of the sea. Some produce of the sea. Seafood. Yeah. Right then. Oh, it's <laughs> off. Farewell, Cretan submarine. Oh, it's Daddy being silly. Yes. So this is still on the east side of Crete.
another. You put it in the shade. It likes me. It's a daddy one. Did you see it okay. turning its head to look at you? Oh yeah. Can you fly? Show me. Right, we are going to go over there because last time we came here to Crete there was this wonderful beach that we found which is called Karafostasi Beach which is right at the end of the Bali area. You can see that's the entrance to the Bali area. So you come all through the roads and right to the end there's like large beach, smaller beach, smaller beach and then a tiny beach which is just in the corner but we spotted that a hotel complex is set up there. So there's now some beds all over it, but we're hoping we can still go down and use it because it's got a wonderful area to swim in, which is probably why. Well, that's better. You can see me now. It's basically a wonderful area to swim in. So we're going to go and have a look at that. Oh, we love. Say, say yes. 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 Still looking at the praying mantis. Has it started to talk yet? No, but it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Right, hang on. It's moving. She's called Mabel. If it's a boy, he's called Max. How's the water, mummy? It's freezing. Yeah. Update report. Come to our favourite beach, and there is indeed a hotel here and a taverna. Oh, don't want to get mummy's bottom in the shot. Uh, taverna just below, and then there's a guy running some sunbeds, and he let us have four sunbeds for how many euros? Six euros. And he chucked in a couple of umbrellas. So it's not a bad deal, is it? Six euros for four sunbeds, two umbrellas. It is what it is, right? That really annoys me. <laughs> right. You're going to go to sea then? Go on then. told off of no left. I've been told off because I, I wandered off without telling a grown-up. <laughs> I was only down there. <laughs> Wooden spoon from parent of the year goes to To me. So we've come to Giorgio Polis Beach which we came here last year and absolutely loved it. So that's why we've come back. And Liv and Bella are over there currently making sandcastles. You alright Liv? Please can I go and see you? You were going to see? Why? Because. Why? Because. I want to. There you go, classic smell. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> okay, just give me a minute then. What? Don't go in without daddy. Well, really, I've got to go. Here. Uh, we've got a town. Here this is the main part with a little well in the middle. Oh, and this is this bit here is to other places. Yeah. It does a big curve around there. Yeah. And then you go down the street from here, there's another house. You go down here and there's a roundabout. You can either turn off to oh, go wow. to the palace or you can come round here and you can come round there, go through the tunnel in there, come out here 
can you drive up here yeah. and you can park your car there. That's cool. You can pay you can pay at that little hut there and then you come back down and you walk up and then you can see um like things in the nice view with the sea over there. And then over here we have a little playground. Bella. And then Bella, didn't I build this bit? Uh did Daddy build this bit? Kind of, yeah. What do you mean kind of? I did the digging and then you did that bit at the top. You sure about that? Okay, you did all of this map for part of the mountain, but I did the west. Anything else? You also dug the hole for that and those mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, well done. Hello, um, it's the 31st of October. Right, we're here in um, Karafostasi Beach, which is the beach down there, but I just wanted to make a quick point before I start today's episode that this is not real life. Just think about it. It's a few minutes from 10 days holiday, so there are things that go wrong. Of course, I don't include them in these episodes because you don't want to see that, and I don't want to see that. I don't want to record that, so it's not in there, but I just wanted to be very clear that they do happen, and uh, they just get edited out. A few things that happened this trip, EasyJet, they weren't allowing my black bag. I smashed up my finger trying to get the black bag inside the bin. The company that had arranged the car hire for it has supposedly cancelled. It looks like we may have to pay twice for the car hire. Look, you, you don't take photos of the bad times. You don't have an argument and think, wait a minute, I'm just going to get that camera. And I've also got better at experiencing these holidays rather than trying to make up a video. If there are some bizarre jumps, that's why. Right then, let's go and enjoy Carafot Stassi Beach and then maybe round the corner to the other beach which I don't know the name of. Right, I'm gonna go and play with the kids in the sea. <laughs>
demo and mummy would like me to point out because i said in the previous episode that that this thing wasn't a submarine it's not the same one though right it's more than just a standard boat because i slated the boat for not being a submarine when it had submarine features to it so here it is Here's, here's one in Rathimo. Obviously, it's a, a boat with submarine qualities where you can go below deck. And look at the fishes. Is that a suitable apology? I just think it's interesting to see that it did actually have something underneath it. I thought it was just a boat. There we go. Back to the same restaurant again. Uh, what did we order, Maria? Too, too much, <laughs> too much food. Two desserts to share between the four of us. There was too much, <laughs> but it was so good, and I had to eat it. Yeah. Now I have a pudding baby. <laughs> we had a stack of pancakes, which was like the best jam sponge pudding ever, mixed with pancake flavour and white chocolate sauce and then Fresh this massive croissant which was stuffed with creme patissier creme patissier creme patissier what's daddy gonna do now I, i'm assuming you're not talking to me because you're saying daddy <laughs> <laughs> what's mikey gonna do now probably fly his drone <laughs> the 2nd of November and I'm in shorts and t-shirts and I'm hesitant to say that I'm a little bit chilly. <laughs> it is, what is the temperature? It's 21, 21 degrees on the 2nd of November, we'll take that. We're in Heraklion at the ancient Venetian fortress um, on the harbour. So I was just thinking what our parents would have filmed taking us on holiday. Like if they had the same camera gear that we've oh, got okay. now, what would they have filmed? I reckon. don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon my dad would have filmed Food. My, 
Yeah, food. My mum eating about 39 Greek olives in one sitting. <laughs> Taking us on like 15, 20 mile walks with no water. All that time he crashed the car in France. I don't think he would have filmed that. Well, if he had a, a GoPro attached to the side of the car, that would have been absolute gold. A million hits on YouTube. Have a look. That's a great view from the top. Right, that's it. End of the holiday. We've got to go to the airport now. Although I do miss, miss the rest of my family. Has everyone had a, a good time? Yes, Are we going to come back to Crete again? No, oh, I think so. Yeah. All that's left for us to say is um, here are our best bits. Oh, we cheese!